how the min and max delays are calculated for setup and hold in static timing analysis let's understand using this video understand this using the setup case first so you i have a flop here dl1 this is sending data to a flop dl2 and the data is going through a combinational logic this combinational logic can have multiple paths so for example this is a combinational logic you can have one path like this another path so from the same flop it is possible to have multiple paths in a combinational logic then both of these are being fed by clock so you have one clock here clock takes this path and the receive play takes another clock path now for setup case let's revisit what we are checking so we need to check at the receive flop data arrives this let's say this is the clock data should arrive at least setup time this is setup time before the clock edge we will violate setup time if data arrives later so for a setup worst case is when data arrive as late as possible now for data to arrive as late as possible it will happen when this clock arrives as late as possible when this delay is as max as possible and when this receive clock arrives as soon as possible so in order to do this what sta tool does is it uses maximum delay for clock path 1 which is on the launch flop uses maximum delay for data path and you can have multiple paths so it will use the delay which is maximum and on the capture side it will use minimum delay for clock path because that will make it the worst case let's understand this using an example so in this example we have this clock delay 0.6 and 0.8 0.6 0.65 here this path has multiple paths one delay is 3.8 one delay is 2.0 okay now what a stable equation would be clock path 1 that is delay of clock path 1 maximum delay on the data path minus clock path delay on the receive side plus setup should be less than clock period so this is what is happening now on the clock path delay is 0.8 plus 0.6 that becomes 1.4 on the data path what delay will pick will pick the maximum delay which can which is 3.8 in this case so we'll pick 3.8 on clock path 2 will pick delay 0.8 plus 0.65 that means this and let's say setup for the flop is 0.2 and this allows us to calculate the clock period now there is one thing the this here we are considering these clock path delays are same but it can be worst case or best case so we here also we have to pick worst case and the clock can also have multiple paths so then also accordingly clock delay has to be picked up now let's understand for hold the for the hold worst case would be what worst let's revisit first what is checked in the hold okay after data is close to clock edge for how much time data should stay stable is hold time so for hold time to be worse data should arrive as early as possible now in order to do arrive uh, data to arrive early for clock path 1 delay should be minimum for data path delay should be minimum and for this receive clock delay should be 
maximum. So let's also understand this using an example. On this, there is this clock path delay. There is this data delay is 3.1 and 1.6. So for clock path one, this is 0 0.8. For data path, which delay will pick? We'll pick the minimum delay, which is 1.6. And for clock path, constant delay. And this is the hold value we'll pick. So no hold violation exists because this is greater than zero. So keep in mind for setup on the launch side, it will pick maximum clock delay, data path side, maximum delay, and on the capture clock side, minimum delay. For the hold on the launch clock side, minimum delay, capture clock side, maximum delay, on under data path, minimum delay. If you want to understand more, we do have detailed course on all aspects of STA. We are running a discount on that right now. You can get all the courses just for rupees 4,999. Do check the links down in the video below, in the link below. And thank you for listening to and watching this video.